this year Giro started from my region, so it was kind of strange because last Thursday I was still at home and my, and my teammates were coming from all the parts of the world and traveling already from one day and I was like, I said to my boyfriend, oh, it's, it's kind of strange because I have the team presentation in two hours and I'm still at home, I had dinner at home and everything. Giro is different from any other race because everything can happen until the very last, last moment and you need to be really focused and ready. You need to be here in great shape if you want to do a result because everyone is racing so aggressively. It's just so good, you know, to have this race in my country. I, I have not the chance to race so often in my home soil, so that's kind of special. She is a really, really determined when we are at home, all the training she do, all specific, all the what she hit, everything. She is really professional, so uh, she prepared really well this Giro Row. My fan club is, um, let's say, half of the village, <laughs> because I live in a village that uh, counts only 300 people. So they saw me growing up, and uh, some years ago they decided to start a sort of fan club that would follow me when they can in the races near home and uh, it's always um, so special. So they have still these orange jerseys uh, from when I was junior, so they, they kept that color and in my opinion it's really nice because you can see it from far. It was also nice to have these three stages in the weekend so they could, uh, could follow me and Hannah did an impressive sprint. I know some of them, uh, they are racing with uh, cycling clubs in my region. First of all, I say to them, yeah, it's not so far Giro Rosa from you because they are, I think, 13 or 14 years old. So I just say, you have to wait four or five years and then we can race together or against. I'm quite sure that some of them will be my competitors. And of course, almost all the questions that they make me, I just answer, you need to have fun now just to enjoy your sport and all will, will come. Yeah, maybe it's not so Cycling is really inside my family because my dad did it and my aunt. So I was just put on a bike when I was six and I could not uh, choose. But um, it was never a stress for me, you know, a sort of enjoyment. And uh, then it became even more a job and now here I am. I love her because uh, we do all together. When we spend time together, we are uh, always happy. I try to make her really every, every time with a smile because uh, uh, we see we stay together only when we are at home um, from the race and it's not a lot of days. So we, we won't really enjoy these days and maybe also for that I'm here now. <laughs> Have a support in a race like that, a really long time out of home is really, really important and uh, uh, she, can, she can be also more determined on the race, on the bike when she has uh, Attila and his family around and uh, I think they do a good, a good move to do all the Giro with her and uh, yeah, it's nice, really nice. It was a present from uh, my boyfriend, uh, Chris, uh, 2015 Christmas. It was I really wanted a dog, but now actually my, my parents are uh, their owners because I'm always away and he's really in love with my dad. He's really famous in the peloton because you can't imagine how many girls are asking me, oh, is that your dog? I really want the same dog. Because, you know, bull, French Bulldog is kind of funny dog, in my opinion, because they have that face and I know that he's in good hands. And um, yeah, he, they are having sort of uh, camping holidays now to follow me in Giro. It's something um, really special because for me, they are the most important people in my life. So it's, uh, you know, to know that they are in a climb or uh, waiting for me, it gives me some extra motivation. Sometimes I say to myself, I'm not here just to, I need to show something and to make them proud. Of course, because I'm 25 now, so I really think that I need to start doing something important in cycling, even if you know, sometimes I look to some rankings and I say, oh, okay, I'm, I'm still in the young part of, uh, of women's cycling, but um, I can't let the chance go uh, anymore because I'm not 20 anymore. I just need to find a balance, but I think it's something that will come with my 
uh, physical maturity and experience and everything. I think that one day this circle will close and finally I, I, will, I will win also. We have nothing to lose, so if one day we just try to attack, attack, attack and then we blow up, it's fine. So it's just part of, uh, of our plan. And actually I am understanding here that the, more, the braver you are on your bike and more results can come.